Someone has suggested the real reason that we don't follow Jesus has to do with two. And it's really not two, but T-O-O and T-O. Let me show you something real quick, if you would. Here's what Jesus said in Matthew. He said, as Jesus went on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax collector's booth. And he said, follow me, follow me. Matthew got up and just followed him. I don't know why it's not that easy today. Even though in Matthew's day, it meant that um, he was really, really in danger of his position. He was in danger of potentially would be his life. But it seems today it's just more difficult to follow Jesus. And I think through the years in my experience, it boils down to the word two. Here's what a lot of people say. The most common twos is, hey preacher, I would love to follow Jesus, I'm just too bad. You know, one of the greatest uh, disciples, one of the greatest apostles was named Paul. Um, he got that name after he was on his way to kill Christians. And uh, prior to that, he was named Saul. That's n neither here nor there for most of you that are listening right now. But, but Paul would go on to say that I am ultimately the chief of sinners and Jesus came to save sinners. There is no such thing as being too bad. If there is anything within us right now that speaks to us in our conscience that says we need to follow Jesus, it doesn't matter what choices you've made, what hurts, what habits, what hang-ups you have, you're not too bad. Here's another two. You may think you're too good to follow Jesus. It is interesting to me <clears throat> that many people um, <clears throat> will not follow Jesus because they got a religious background, They've got a family heritage of faith, and oftentimes they just simply compare themselves to the absolute worst Christian that they've ever met in your, their life. <clears throat> but simply put, Jesus said in John 3.16, hey, God so loved this world, that's all of us, good, the bad, and the ugly, that He sent His one and only Son. So there's no, so, no such thing as being too good to come to Jesus. There's also no such thing as saying it is too soon. Many people uh, have not come to faith because they believe it's just too soon. It's just too soon. And that's not necessarily based on age. It's based on, to many people, it's, hey, I don't understand enough about religion. And like one of our lay pastors had a conversation this past Sunday with a young man. He has no religious background at all, no church background in his family. And uh, he had never even been to church. And he walked up to a couple of our lay pastors on Sunday and said, I, I think it's just too soon for me to follow Jesus. It is never too soon. You'll never, ever be smart enough, knowledgeable enough, or understand Scripture enough to follow Jesus. Here's another two. You ready? Jesus responded to the two issue. He really did. He responded to the two issue. He said, this is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but people love the darkness instead of light because of their deeds. And Jesus said in John 10, the thief comes only to steal, kill, and to destroy. And I have come that they may have life and have it to the fullest. Jesus ultimately says today, to all of our two ex, uh, excuses, follow me. So I don't know what the deal is. If you're a procrastinator, if it's your pride, if you're just in love with some kind of pleasure, or if you're just scared to death of maybe the people in your life that might find it repulsive for you to follow Jesus. Here's the thing. There is a heaven and there is a hell. And on the other side of our last breath, we're going to be faced with the reality of that. So today, if you've not followed Jesus, I pray that you'll follow Jesus. And it's as simple as this. Do you know what your problem is? My problem, we share the same problem, sin. And when we come to a point where we're willing to say, Jesus, take that away, forgive me, and help me to follow you, hey, the bottom line is, Jesus accepts you. Amen.